Remember all of that for all the Farcraft hype we had recently? Chris Metzen is here again. This is gonna be amazing. We're back, baby. The lot is gonna be epic again. Yeah, turns out all of that was a lie. Interested in finding out how they've ruined the war within already. Oh, already? That's impressive. Yeah. Uh, well, and that is Echo, but there's nothing we can do about it. One thing, they have <laughs> continually said it's not class skins. Yeah, now, but, I think they yeah, had a problem but... where it felt like class skins in some of their earliest marketing. But since then, I have noticed they've continually said these are not. I don't know what's more frustrating, the Echo or this strange hairline here. I don't know. Class skins, these are ways to lean into a certain vibe with your class. That's it. They have specifically multiple times said it's not class skins. So it's that sort of weird thing where if we just sort of go and say they're not class skins, everyone, I'm so angry about this. Blizzard be like, we never, we didn't say they were class skins. We, in fact, in multiple times in multiple interviews, told you all that they're not class skins. Brother Farcraft is gonna do class skins at some point, but honestly, who cares? For World of Warcraft, I don't, I don't feel it makes sense to have 50 billion classes. For other games, the more classes, the better. But for World of Warcraft, for some reason, the less classes exist, in my opinion, they're honestly better. Because everything is just a jambled mess because of the amount of classes that this game has. Could you please stop judging them as if they're class skins? So it's that weird thing of like, what do a lot of people want? Class skins. Um, this is not, that's not what this is. Yeah. And it's not trying to be that. But the problem is, they, you know, uh... The Blizzard devs are so incompetent, they often try to make something that it's not supposed to be and, end up, and ends up being a completely different thing. This is commonplace. Blizzard tells you we don't want to make class skins. What happens? They accidentally make class skins five seconds later and don't even realize it. Classic, classic Blizzard moves right there. For some reason, right, I was I was just, I was, it's a food analogy. It's like brown rice versus white rice. Listen, I know the brown rice has still got the germ in it and whatever, or whatever it is, so it's technically healthier. No, it's not. But great. Brown rice is next. Fantastic. All. Well, I was always told the brown rice was healthier, but That's I nice. always thought, well, screw that. What do I Yeah, they also said the same about uh, brown sugar. Brown sugar is better. Okay, turns out, no, not really. Uh, rock salt is better. Himalayan rock salt is the best. No, actually, it's the exact almost same thing as just normal salt, honestly, at this point. Man, uh, the obsession of people finding something not even remotely unique, but just sounding a little bit funky and trying to make it this special unique thing that you consume because you're better than everyone else is kind of crazy, honestly. Do I want... White rice. How do I want it? Sticky as fuck. In my gullet. Immediate blood sugar. Let's go. Cooking chicken stock. Let's go. So it's that kind of thing where like, hey, Michael, would you like this? You know, something delicious thing with rice. I'd be like, oh, yeah, let's go. Because I'm excited about that thing. I sit down. It's like it's brown rice. It's overdone. It's not clumped together. I'm like, oh. So it's a bit like that with classic. Yeah, overdone rice is actually super horrible, too. Skins. Yeah, well, Joshua Evan asks, what are you guys talking about? Good question, actually. We should maybe we should maybe make that more clear. Okay. So hero, hero specs. Hero specs. They there we go. Oh. oh no, I feel. Oh, <laughs> but that's just one of those things where it's like, you know, you don't know that people are going to get that idea because they haven't got that idea yet because it hasn't happened. Okay, yet. okay. Let's let's find out. Do we have the classics? For example, Blade Master for Warrior and Dark Ranger for uh, Hunters. So, where do we have a uh, warrior? Colossus Slayer Mountain Tain. Okay, sucks to suck. Um, where is uh, Hunter? Hunter. Sentinel, a uh, pack leader. Dot Ranger. There we go, boys. No, it's not going to be subclasses. Oh, Blizzard. You literally. Well, the, I, I hope you never learn, because if you learned from your mistakes, you would probably make those mistakes ten times better. Fire everyone at Blizzard! Let's see what the Drogue has. Dead Stalker, Trickster, Fade Bound. Did they just steal shit from Guild Wars, honestly, at this point? Because this is kind of uh, the Guild Wars way of approaching rogues. 
uh, wh- one is a trickster, one is, you know, more into the rogue uh, rogue stuff, real assassination, and one is a magical type of deal. Huh, interesting. Well, I guess the overlap is to be expected because... Oh, Demon Hunters only have two because Demon Hunters are... Y- Demon Hunters are the class that no one cares about. Adral... Aldrachi River... Yeah, just, just, just fire everyone. Just, just fire all of them. I'm, I'm so done. Yeah, that sounds completely insane. That's actually just me talking about causality. <laughs> Wait, Dead Knight, uh, Rider of the Apocalypse, Sun Lane, and Deadbringer. Sun Lane is a uh, mythological, uh, mythological thing from the East, if I'm not mistaken. There's, uh, I, th- I think it is. I may be wrong, but you know, makes sense. They let the We're fire. not violating causality, but like, yeah. They, so they call them this, and I suppose for people are like, oh yeah, Hellcaster, Hellcaller. I really want to be Templar. I really want to be. Which of these were cool again? Rider of the Apocalypse. Yeah, that's cool as shit. Rider of the Apocalypse. Hell yeah, I want to be that. I want to be. Rider. This actually is so shitty, technically, because imagine you're playing World of Warcraft and you're playing New Clash Evoker. And then you're like, ah, oh, I'm enjoying my new class. Wait, my class is already in the gutter with everyone else and it's not special because I was special five minutes ago and now everyone's special yet again. Dude, they, they, World of Warcraft just does too much useless MacGuffin uh, trash. They should literally scrap all their currently existing mechanics in the game and just bring back something that people liked. People like the artifact weapons, right? Because I haven't played uh, retail in a while. I just came back for Shadowlands for one week, and then I was absolutely not. Nah, this is garbage. This is as stupid as it gets. The 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 jailer, the god, the we the jailer is just phenomenal. Okay, we had the gods of death, then we had the god god of death, and then we had the god god of death. But turns out, wait a minute, the jailer's not the ultimate baddie. There's still a god 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 of death. How can anyone even love- how, how can anyone actually put effort into liking World of Warcraft at this point? I'm saying, yeah, that's like the fucking hero from Warcraft 3, give me that shit. Of the... Even Sod. Even Sod. Sod is still fun, do not get me wrong, I'm still enjoying Sod a lot. But everyone who's playing Sod is gonna tell you one thing if they're not a lunatic fanboy. The season- well, the phase two, not season two. The phase two runes were- underwhelming as they can be they, they're just super underwhelming rogues we, uh, rogues we wanted some some way to actually get more energy so we can uh, spam more than slice and dice technically that's happening now but you know still would be nice to have some uh you know energy regeneration added to on top of it you know roll the dice that would have been cool or something like that nope nope no nope. here's shadow slip Tank, gee, gee, thanks, Blizzard. And a shuriken toss, so uh, rogue tanks can rogue tank, but no one cares about it. Put combat points on yourself? No, suffer with combat points. Why even bother? Yeah, it, it's it's just it's just a little bit much, you know? Well, while you have zero class balance, melee hunters are literally killing people in one global. Nice. Apocalypse, it could be a rad death knight. Could be a, awesome. Could be, yeah, yeah. You, could, you know, you want to be a farseer shaman. That sounds yeah. cool. What other ones called? Sun Frost Fury, Fire, Sentinel, Dark Ranger Hunter. I think we're yes. going to talk a little bit about Dark Ranger specifically so actually, because that's the one that's. What what this is is the new from level uh, sixty to seventy, seventy to eighty. Even. <laughs> Do you play this game, Michael? <laughs> Don't answer that honestly. Um, uh, yeah, so here's what they are. They're talent trees. They're mini talent trees that you have access to on top of your existing talent trees. I think they're cool. I actually do need to... I've I, been meaning, I've... I thought they were cool, and then I looked at the balance shared one, and my brain went... Also, we need the current sk- uh, talent point system from retail in the Season of Discovery, okay? Because the talent points are just ass in, season, in Classic. Let's be completely real. The talent points are as sad, useless, and dull as they can honestly be. So, you know, uh, let's fix that. Again, I want fixes. Uh, abort mission, get me out here. 
Talk about playing WoW as as a next topic. Because I'm continually seething because I've not been able to play enough because I've basically just been trying to solve problems and make things good here. But it's actually getting to the point where I I go home and there's like two things in my head. It's make a really good Notion template and play World of Warcraft. And I keep having to do the Notion template because that's useful for like other people here. But I'm like... (sighs) And then me me and Dakor, we've been talking about like, God, you know what would be really cool? Just having fun in WoW. In, for him instead of all the sweat stuff. So maybe I actually do want to talk about that in a little bit. But anyway, these hero specs. Uh, sorry for breaking the flow on you, everyone. Uh, yeah, they're basically... They're, they're, yep, they're that. You, you've talked about them. I think some will be, will be better than others. Blizzard overtly said... Because I do want to be fair to them. They overtly said that they want to get the designs for these out early. Uh, and they want to do that so they can iterate heavily. They even mm. said, like, if you think that some of these ideas of, like, a fantasy are lame, tell us. They're like, like they literally said that at BlizzCon. The hell is even an Archon in priest terms? I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Hellcaller, Diabloist, Soul Harvester, I guess that makes sense for Warlock. Uh, Monk, Master of Harmony, Shadow Pen, Conduit of the Celestials. Okay. Well, what kind of what, what kind of magical fantasy is conduit of celestial supposed to be? Well, e- evoker. We don't even understand the, uh, the the concept of an evoker, honestly. The uh, what the hell is an invoker? A dragon boy? A a larper? Root be adept? How is anyone even supposed to know if this is supposed to be cool or not? This is just. Something Blizzard completely pulled out of their behind and call it to the day. Amazing. Some of the Warlock boys, Soul Harvester, Hellcolor, Diabolist. What What the fuck is this conduit of the Celestials? See? Lightning Rod? I don't even know what monks do. Okay, cool. Sure, fine. But, you know, you can immediately tell there's some of these that aren't that exciting. Basically. Pa- Paladin Lightsmith. Uh, how is that? How is... Lightsmith, how is that even supposed to be different from Herald of the Sun? One's 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 yellow red and the other one is uh, white yellow? Templar. Does he just lose his holy palmers? <laughs> is, does he become a fanatic? Does he join a cult? Yeah, and they, I think, knew some of that themselves, which is why they yeah, asked for feedback. So yeah, like, this, is some, this is some first draft shit, yeah. please. It's to say that they were fairly open and they were overtly receptive to feedback and they continue... Well, Blizzard will never take feedback into account. You can literally forget about it. ...annually said that they're not class skins. And it's that challenging thing. This has an overlap with an ideal version of the thing that we all can agree would be really awesome if they could do it. You know what's the strange thing about World of Warcraft Retail that I have understood? Everyone wants to be special, right? But there is a point where you when you're taking special too far because everyone is just completely different and there's uh, no more camaraderie when it comes to classes, you know? Previously you could relate with other rogues because you see them in the world. Yeah, that's that's my boy. He's a rogue. Now it's like, ah, he's a trickster who who honestly knows what's happening. You know, you see an undead, you probably know what class he's playing, priest, right? You, you see an orc, he's probably playing a warrior. Or a tower, and he's probably playing a warrior. Because no one plays druids. Anyway, you, you get the point. There was some kind of camaraderie and understanding, and the world uh, seemed unique, yet at the same time... Um, quite understandable but this is just too far and it has enough of an overlap that it then conjures in your mind what a full dark ranger sub spec or something would be yeah and this is exactly why i've seen i've seen it be uh, connected to garrisons too in the sense that it's like this is it's not even like it's trying to be it's literally just this is kind of we can't commit to giving you exactly what you want for whatever reason, be it production heavy, be it we don't think it's a good idea, etc., etc., etc. But like obviously, as like Sapphire points out, it's like we could have just had class skins that are completely optional set exchange, but instead you're forced into options that might not fit. Mm-hmm. And now we could have just had is a massively loaded statement because it's like 
what's your source for we could have just had. But from the player perspective and experience, you go, well, would you rather have some extra gameplay choices that are in here? It's like, yeah, they want to increase power. They want to give us more talents. And this is their solution. Their solution was, we can make mini talent trees, but we have to frame them in some capacity. Oh, this is a good, a good idea to add a little bit. As far as I know, everyone just, you know, goes to some kind of website and just copy pastes all the talents that the top players use and whatnot anyway. So, people don't care about any of this. Furthermore, the Blizzard can't already uh, balance their games, okay? And you're adding just more percents to balance. It is crazy. Bits of tiny bits of fantasy. Yeah. So we can create effectively what are really miniature subspecs. And we'll have those subspecs shared because we kind of like a little... And you know why Blizzard will never balance World of Warcraft? Because... At this point, you probably need at least like 200 people who play each class to even remotely start understanding where the problems are. So yeah, they're never hiring, what is this, like a, a thousand... Yeah, this is 12 classes, right? Yeah, 12, uh, yeah, 12 classes. Yeah, the Blizzard's not hiring a thousand two hundred people, two hundred, a hundred or two hundred for each class. That would be double even, Jesus. To balance out classes, that's impossible. It makes no sense. So yeah, give up on World of Warcraft being balanced ever at all. A little bit of that, just have them shared. Makes more sense. We don't have to do one individual. Just accept the idea that you know you're not gonna play for a day. You're gonna log in and suddenly your favorite class is useless because. Blizzard just slapped a 50% damage reduction on you for literally no fucking reason. Actually, we can like make them kind of work across so you can have access to these um, these aesthetics and these kind of, not class skins, but these these abilities, right? So obviously if you want to be a Dark Ranger, that's for BM and for Marksmanship Hunter. So like, you want to be a Dark Ranger? Yeah, you can be a Dark Ranger without being locked into one specific mm. spec. That's cool. What is Dark Ranger? Eh, you can Black Arrow and a couple of things. I think the problem is someone goes, well, do you want to be a Dark Ranger or do you want to be, you know, a Shadow Pan um, monk or, you know, do you want to be a Mountain Saint? People are like, what have people had in their heads for these specs, these kind of additional aesthetic addition to classes, yeah. all these aesthetic overrides of things? Because one of the things they pointed out was the Mountain Saint Warrior literally changes abilities, gives them more of that vibe. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it was. It was like there's more lightning during Thunderclap. You can Thunderclap a lot more. There's, uh, what is it? Is it like Stormbolt splits and hits like three targets with lightning blasts as well? The stuff like that, and you're like, that's kind of crazy. That's, that, that's, that feels like a tiny version of what we could have with a full overhaul. And that's where we get into like this really full, um, this like, I guess basically it is just an issue of people wanting a thing and not getting it directly, getting it slightly in a different format. Yeah. But it's not supposed to be that. But it still takes away from that. Yeah. Because the problem of the player looking at this is, this is, this is cool, but I wanted this. And they're like, we were never offering you that as a binary choice. But it's almost like, hey, you're hungry. I'm not even sure if people wanted this to begin with, honestly. It seems like just a bunch of BS. Well, here's some like, here's a bottle of Lucas <laughs> And you're like, Sure, the sugar in that. Sure, but I was hungry, not thirsty. It is of type consumable. Yeah. But it is not of subtype food. Therefore, I'm unsatisfied. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, someone's hungry and you give them, you don't give them something to eat. You give them something to drink that's reasonably nutritious. Something along the lines of, well, like a Gatorade in the US or else. Or like, cool, that's not it. Can I have the food? They're like, we weren't offering you food. So sort of like, go, going through our um, statistically significant, uh, absurdly representative, yes. commensurately true subsampling of tweets, Full which off. obviously represents the entire World of Warcraft community. Yeah, full on like walking out the street and picking random people. Like this is what yeah. this is. This is what this is. It's like this is. What, it feels like a half measure. Even though from creation, it isn't in any capacity oh, no. designed to be that. I, I think we're done here. This is crazy, boys. Anyway, uh, that was a belly clips. Ubu Awa. 
Amazing. Uh, World of Warcraft, still dead. Who would have expected, right? I know. Shocking. Shocking, deeply shocking. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sitsin. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.